Suburbia Green Vintage proudly presents the Vintage Picks of the Week for the week ending April 30th, 2010. The bark cloth we know today isn't made from tree bark. Rather, it's a type of specially weaved cotton with a nubby texture that's reminiscent of the original tree bark fabric and named after it. This home decorating fabric of choice from the 1930s through the 1960s also made its way into fashion. Monday's Vintage Pick of the Day features a stunning example that's a rare and exciting find. Because most bark cloth dresses feature Hawaiian or atomic prints, the stained glass art deco print on this vintage 1960s maxi is both unusual and unexpected. And with a price tag of about $50, it's a real steal for a vintage fashionista. Available at Tiley Vintage. Imagine a closet filled with only solid colors. Boring, right? Prints are just one tool that help to inject a little life into your wardrobe, but they need not make you dizzy or knock you off your feet. It's possible to find prints that are a bit more organic and subdued, and Tuesday's vintage pick of the day is a fine example. I love the way the muted earth shades give the effect of a slate patio. It's perfect for the office and a truly Prince Charming for a vintage fashionista. Available at Miss Farfalla Vintage Clothing. Have you ever been treated with kid gloves or heard someone suggest it was time to take the kid gloves off? These idiomatic expressions trace back to the early 1800s. Back then, women of the noble and upper classes often wore kid skin gloves to protect their hands. But since kid skin is so extremely soft, it's not very practical for use in serious manual labor. That's why treating someone or something with kid gloves came to be associated with delicate treatment. When you're ready to put some kid gloves on, take a look at Wednesday's vintage pick of the day. These vintage kid skin gloves by Chanel are très chic and guaranteed to make you feel very ladylike as you slip them over your fingers. They're a delightful find for a vintage fashionista. Available at Portero.com. Surely you've seen the contests where someone fills a huge jar with jelly beans or M&Ms or marbles, and whoever makes the closest guess wins a prize. Well, I've always thought it would be fun to do a similar contest guessing the number of beads on a vintage beaded dress. I thought of this contest idea again when I spied Thursday's vintage pick of the day. There must be thousands of beads on this beauty. So many, surely no one watching you sashay across a room would ever notice the few that are missing. And the beautiful Art Deco design? It gets its texture from the interesting mix of silver metal discs, seed beads, bugle beads, and sequins. As if that's not enough, add in some provenance. This dress is said to have been worn by the granddaughter of Denman Thompson, a well-known vaudeville performer and playwright. Add it all up, and you have a smashing find for a vintage fashionista. Available at Morning Glorious Vintage. Wardrobe consultants and stylists will often advise that you build your wardrobe on classic separates and satisfy your urge for trends with accessories, but it's wise to have a few classic foundational accessories at hand too. Friday's Vintage Pick of the Day qualifies as one of those long-term keepers. These 1990s suede platform heels by Chanel are worth every hard-earned penny, and they can raise the class quotient on anything you pair them with. They're a real investment find for a vintage fashionista, available at Claire Incorruptible. I'm Mary Kincaid, founder of Suburbia Green Vintage, and that concludes this week's selections. Remember, you can receive the Vintage Pick of the Day for free via email, along with detailed size, price, and purchase information. To sign up or to shop for beautiful hand-selected vintage clothing, visit us at Suburbia.com.